Today we're going to tour the Maplewood Heights neighborhood in Renton, Washington, right after this. Hi, my name is Karen Jackson. I'm a residential real estate agent with John L. Scott in Renton, Washington and the surrounding areas. I work with buyers and sellers and I've been helping people buy and sell real estate since 2004. So I've been through the ups and downs. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please go and do so right away and hit the little bell for notifications. That way you will be notified of every upcoming video I have. I have lots of great real estate tips on buying and selling homes. So let's get started. Let's take a tour of the Maplewood Heights neighborhood in Renton, Washington. This first little bit are the neighborhoods leading up to the Maplewood Heights community. As you can see, there are some newer neighborhoods built in the 2000s. And then there are also some neighborhoods on the outskirts of Maplewood Heights that were built in the 1960s through 1980s. On the left is Maplewood Heights Elementary. The Maplewood Heights community is served by the Renton School District. As we drive a little bit further, on the left-hand side, you will find Maplewood Park. Maplewood Park is a public park, but it is within the boundaries of Maplewood Heights community. There are many different neighborhoods that surround the Maplewood Heights community, but we're going to talk about the actual Maplewood Heights subdivision. There are 210 homes in the subdivision, and in 2020, the price ranges ranged from the mid 400s to the mid $600,000 range. The majority of the homes were built in the late 1960s to the late 1970s. The home styles consist of ramblers, two stories, and there are some split entries in this division as well. It is a well-maintained community and a highly desired neighborhood. The majority of the residents are homeowners and have lived here for many years. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not yet subscribed, please go and do that right away. And if you have any comments or questions on the real estate market in King County or Pierce County, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to help you. There's also a form in the comments below that you can fill out and I will get back to you right away.